Hi, today we are going to see the order calendar plugin. That is an add on plugin for our delivery date time plugin. Now you can see that we have installed the order calendar plugin and we are into that. It shows the order dates. These are the dates when the order were placed. So you can see on the 6th April there were 6 orders placed, 7th April there were 5 orders that were placed likewise. Now when you go to the delivery date, today is the 7th April, you will see that there are 6, on the 16th of April there are 5 orders which are supposed to be delivered. So you can see when you click on this. It will show you the five orders that needs to be delivered on the 16th April sorted along with the time slots. So you can see that here and likewise on the 20th April there are four orders which are going to be picked up and they are being arranged in the time slots. If suppose you are running the plugin with the time option as an optional, not a required field. So in those cases, there will be a situation when the user will not select any time. So in that case, it is going to say no time over here and it will show all the orders with no time. And for the orders that have the time, it will be arranged in one like over here for 11 a.m. to 12 p.m there are two orders that needs to be prepared for this particular time slot for pickup the same thing is also available on the front end you can see in the print and front end when you click on this it will show you the orders arranged in the time slot and you can view the order details over here the only difference is on the front view the order detail will be like this whereas on the back end the order will be opening into a original order that was given in the WooCommerce. So it is a very great plugin to have when you want to see how many orders needs to be prepared for every time slots. This will make your time uh, work very easy. Apart from that, you can put the restriction on which user can access which order detail on the front end. For example, you are having someone which are in the delivery department. So they only need to know the address of the order where the delivery has to be done. They do not want to know what was the order that was given. So in that case, you can put a restriction through the access part so you can put a restriction you can assign a login id to your customer uh, your employee and you can give them a role for example a delivery person and you can assign only the delivery customer details to be shown to those employees So in such case, what will happen is they will be only able to see the customer details and not the other part. This is the top part is the customer detail part and the bottom part is the order detail. That is how many, how, what was the order place. This is generally needed for your production department.